What it do, Andrew here, welcome back to another horror review. This time I'll be doing a review on the Yamaha 567 that I got through one of my private lesson teachers. This case is a Marcus Bona 5. The people at Lucas Horns gave me an amazing deal for the case, horn, and Yamaha conversion. If you don't know what a Yamaha conversion is, they basically take your lead pipe off, they attach a Ron Pink lead pipe, they cut your bell, they put an Alexander sized ring, and they give you a bell as well. They strip the lacquer off the horn and sonic clean it. The process itself cost $2,800. I, all in all, paid $5,000 for their services, their horn, and the case. The case itself is $500 as well. Keep that in mind. I believe I got the better end of the deal. The case is super lightweight due to its carbon fiber shell and nylon exterior. All Marcus 1 of 5 models include two back straps, one shoulder strap, mouthpiece pouch, and a new adaptive system for different horn brands. It also has space for two mutes inside the case. It also comes with a cute little Marcus Bona pouch. You can store any accessory you'd like in there. I always keep a handful of mouthpieces just in case someone would want to try out my horn, test it out. The outfit snugly back in the spot where I pulled it from. There is another slot on the other side which you can use to keep your valve oil, slide grease, or any other items. Both sides are protected by the barrier in the middle so your belongings will not get damaged and will be 100% secure. The belt just sits on top of the horn and you can just pull it out anytime. To get this horn out, you just have to undo the velcro and you can pull this beauty out. The very first thing I noticed about the horn is that it's super lightweight and just completely stunning. And from this angle, you can see the gray bumper is inside the case, which is the adjustable system to accommodate your specific horn onto the case. This is the Ron Pink lead pipe. These lead pipes have quite an amazing reputation for completely changing a horn. I've read articles online of horn players who have switched their lead pipes to this specific one and have a complete change of tone, making it a lot clearer and have the horn quote unquote open up. After playing on a Yamaha 667 and having the high range be easier on the 567, I knew this lead pipe was the real deal. This is just the Alexander ring. With that ring, I can attach any Alexander bill I want to it. So if one day I'm feeling extravagant and want a rose gold bill, I can do it as long as it's in an Alexander bill. Here's what the horn looks like put together. As you see, it's a guy wrap horn. What makes the Yamaha 567 a guy wrap is the fact that the B-flat rotor is in line and under the other rotors. However, unlike most horns, the first B-flat slide is a lot thicker than traditional B-flat slides. Some people might not be a fan of the thicker first valve B-flat slide. However, I don't think it has affected my playing in any sort of negative way. What I really like about this horn is the fact that the valves move like lightning. I know I mentioned in my last video that Yamaha valves are freaking amazing, and that is true. One bad thing I have to say about it is that the trigger sometimes will get stuck, but I mean, you see right now it's responding super fast, and that's how it is for the most part. Another thing I would like to add is that the high range on here, on the 567, way better than the high range on the 667. And that's ironic because you would think that the 667 would be better because it's, you know, a bigger number for Yamaha horns. But, like everything that was done to it, the sonic cleaning, changed the lead pipe, made this horn an even superior horn to the 667. Keeping everything into consideration, I wanted to give this horn a five out of five stars. And that might come as a surprise for many of you, but it's just because I got so many things done to it and it was just really amazing. I got a good case for it. I got Sonic clean, lacquer removed. I got the Ron Pink lead pipe, Alexander ring and Alexander belt. Everything amazing. And if you want a horn just like this, I'm gonna put the link to Rob Johnson's website so you can get in touch with them and see if you can get one as well. 
if you made it this far in the video, I recommend you give me a like, subscribe, show me to your friends, and follow me on social media. Other than that, stay blessed.